Have Thank a good Christmas. You. In Dallas, Texas, Eric Palmer and his family are on the road to Grandma's house 700 miles away in Colorado. It's not too far for us to drive. I mean, as a family, we're always taking long trips. But, it's only 12 hours. Yeah. A trip that will cost much more this Christmas, with gas prices on the rise. Nationwide, the average price for regular, 301 a gallon, a 43 cent jump from last year, and the first time gas has ever topped $3 at Christmas. This is the highest I've ever paid. The Palmers are among the more than 92 million Americans on the move this holiday week by car, train, bus, and plane, a 3 percent increase over last year. It's going to be what it's going to be. Despite higher prices on everything from hotel rooms, up 5 percent, and airline tickets, it's also up 5% to an average of $421. Median spending for holiday travel up 3.5% to $694. It's a combination of a slightly improved economy and just a strong desire to spend time with family and friends. The good news for today, few travel delays related to bad weather. Long lines at airports stemmed from higher volume and new security scans and pat-downs brought on by the so-called underwear bomber of last Christmas. But while pre-Christmas travel has been relatively smooth, getting home could be a different story. Forecasters are watching that big storm system that could bring snow all along the east coast and even to the south on Christmas Day. Erica? Don, thanks, Don.